We finally have a release date for the new playlist coming in for Halo Infinite, including Slayer as well now. Big changes happening to the challenge system as well as our first steps towards performance-based XP, and an issue currently happening the big team battle for Halo Infinite. Why the sudden change? We'll stay tuned throughout the whole video to understand all the details. How's it going Halo fans? Kevin here once again giving our news and informational video when it comes to Halo. If you like these kind of videos, make sure you tap that like button. Let's me know you want to see some more content like this. I'm sure all of you remember the playlist updates that we will be receiving this month. We didn't know exactly when until today. Community director Sketch recently went to the battlefield known as the Halo subreddit and posted some information that I think you guys definitely want to hear about. At time of the weekly reset on Tuesday, December 14th, guys, we will be receiving four new modes. Those modes being Tactical Slayer, which is SWAT, Free For All, Fiesta, and a new mode that's actually coming in, Slayer. Now, previously we did report on this, but it was going to only be the Tactical Slayer, Free For All, and Fiesta that was going to be part of this December update for the playlist, but Slayer is a brand new addition. As 343 wanted to create a bit more of a variations within the Slayer playlist, so keep the mode kind of fresh and fun, but due to community feedback, I guess the way to put it, uh, they decided to add in a just a vanilla Slayer mode added into the December 14th playlist update. Sketch does add though that they do plan to add more variants within the Slayer playlist after the holiday break, so sometime in January we will see that. Obviously with the change of playlist, definitely requires a change of the challenge system as well, and Sketch continues on talking about that as well, stating that some adjustments will be made to the challenge system, including the removing of some particularly frustrating mode specific challenges. I certainly came across this issue recently on stream which by the way we do stream every tuesday and thursday evening here on twitch i had a challenge of like complete three slayer games or it might be just a slayer game but i was doing quick play and it literally took me like an hour and a half to complete that one challenge so i'm glad to see some of these frustrating challenges or really extended time padding challenges being uh, fixed up a little bit uh, they also said they are reducing the requirements for some other challenges and also making the ultimate weekly challenge less intensive since it's already so tough to get to that last challenge and adding some new challenges that are specific to the new playlist coming in as well. And it sounds like performance-based XP might be coming in here pretty soon. Saying that he's eager to check out a new challenge category that's based on accumulating player score, which in parentheses he then says, a small initial step towards performance-based XP. And that they'll have more details to share on Waypoint next week, so we'll definitely cover that when it officially goes live. I don't really know how I feel about performance-based XP. I know it's been a big ask from the community, but the thing is, that's progression as XP and progression is monetized within Halo Infinite. So are you going to reward better players with higher advancements through the progression system, which is monetized and potentially hurting lower skilled players for progressing through the battle pass? I think it certainly would incentivize people to try to play the game better or get better at the game for sure, especially with the lack of service record and statistics. You can kind of measure how much better you are getting at the game. If we had an XP system like the Master Chief Collection, where it's just kind of like a shiny bag next to your name that showcases how much you've played then yeah performance by xp gains all the way no problem so with progression and monetization tied together so tightly with Halo Infinite, having performance-based XP might leave those lower skilled players in the dust. Then again, you're rewarding your higher skilled players who are most likely your more dedicated players who would be more likely to buy into the battle pass. So there's this balance right here that I'm sure 343 has the data on to really make a judgment call on this. But for the moment right now, I'm kind of iffy on it, but we'll just see how it all plays out. Now the servers for big team battle for many people, including myself, are kind of messed up. And within this post, Sketch does mention saying that there are some players out there in BTB who have been experiencing some server issues. I certainly came across this issue where like one match I matched in a server that was definitely international because I had like 170 ping. I'm over here in the US on like in the West Coast. Like there's nobody in the US playing big team battle that I could have connected to. I doubt that. That's if I'm lucky to find a game. A lot of times I'll be loading into a match and it'll just kick me right out or just won't be finding matches at all. So I'm glad to see that 343 is aware of this issue. Let me know if you guys are coming across this as well as BTB. I'm, I'm sure if I'm experiencing this, probably a lot of other people are as well. I basically just wasn't able to play BTB and I had to use challenge swaps to be able to complete this weekly challenge, which I did, which is my first weekly challenge I was able to complete. So I'm super happy about that. So let me know in the comments, guys, what's the first playlist you're gonna be jumping into? I might be jumping into a little free-for-all. I do love myself 
myself some free-for-all. But I'm more of a fan of like the ranked free-for-all settings that we've had like previously in other Halo games like Halo 5 and Halo 3 on the MCC. And I kind of wish we had that for the competitive rankings as well as the free-for-all mode is a great spot for competitive players to start making a name for themselves. Also making Fiesta a permanent playlist makes me wonder what is the Tenray event playlist going to be? We did see some leaked images uh, talking about how there's going to be like an oddball Fiesta attached to Tenray, which would kind of make sense for like a unique mode experience. Of course, we'll just have to wait and see. I believe the next time Tenray comes around is early January. Also, in just a few days, we do have the winter contingency event come around, guys, with some unique unlocks you can get through that, which we did cover on the channel previously as well, if you guys want to see that video. But I'll catch you guys when that update on Waypoint does go live for uh, get some more detailed information about the challenge system, playlists, and offerings, all that within those updates that are coming out on December 14th. So thank you so much for watching. I greatly appreciate it, and I'll catch you all on the next one. Peace out.